hi there so today in this tutorial i will guide you or i will teach you how you can basically make a web crawler and web scraper using mcp okay in anytime so let me just first give me demo uh, how it is going to work and then i will explain you each note that how it is working and then in the end i will also help you to make this from scratch so let me just restore this and give it a query like can you tell me about datalink.com so this is going to run this is going to trigger the mcp server which is this one and here we have connected the http tools i will explain you later so now it is uh, we are using a tropic cloudy 4 model and let me show you datalink.com i am asking a queue related to so this is when the a website we are want to scrape and we want to know what services they are offering using our mcp so yeah we give it a query like can you tell me about data link what they are offering so it's a data link a digital ai agency and uh, their core mission is basically uh, you can see here their core mission automation intelligence and simplicity and uh, their services are like custom workflow automation business and everything so this is all it is going to tell us their services, generative AI application, the power integrations and everything. So now I am going to explain you how it is working. So here we have connected a chat trigger. This is our AI agent where we have just given it a simple <coughs> prompt. Helpful assistant use markdown and we have also given it a date. Okay. So means today's date. Like this is a JSON key. This is JSON key code which can help you. To give a model today's date so that it should be updated about our queries and uh, yeah this is very simple prompt and no anything else and then let me just we are using anthropic model uh, cloudy force on it and maximum tokens yeah these are the maximum tokens for we are using per run and uh, how you can get basically uh, how you can set this you will just need to click on click credentials or just you will need to click on create credentials you will need to paste your anthropic api key so how you can get it you will you will need to come over here like anthropic api key and then you will need to click on get api keys and then you will click on console this one to get your api key and there is an option api keys and you will just need to continue with google or use your email make an account and then you can create an api key once you are done then you can you can get some credits as well and then you will need to paste this over here and click on save i have already done this so yeah this is and i am just using simple memory with five uh, keys and you can also set it uh, if you it's upon you either you want to set it or not and then we have a mcp client like with ai agent we are using this mcp client and how we are basically getting this link let me come over here so we have there like you will search your mcp trigger and uh, yeah this one so we have uh, this one yeah. so you will need to just get this one i have already uh, added this so i am not going to duplicate it okay and then when you will open this you will just uh, need to uh, you will just need to set your path or you can also use default path that you will see or you can just set your own and then click on production you will just need to copy this link uh, i have <laughs> copied a billion times so you will just need to copy this link and you will need to come over here and just paste it over here make sure it should be in a production environment if you want to test in a live environment otherwise you can also get this test one and make sure also active this so that you can test it okay and how you will basically get this uh, mcp client you will just click on tools and there is an mcp client function and uh, to note you will just click on it okay and then you will just paste your link over here i'm going to delete this i have already done it. so this now chat agent via this mcp client will communicate with this mcp trigger that we have another workflow okay it will communicate and then it will use the uh, required tool so we have three tools right now 
one is for crawling extraction information this will post the request and second one will get the information based on the request and third one is a scraper so crawler and a scraper we are using so now i am going to guide you how you can set these http nodes i am just going to um, let me let me just uh, delete these nodes okay so that i can guide you from scratch so in this mcp trigger you will click on http tool okay and uh, you will you can search or you can get them. so now how to fill these all the bodies you will come over here first let's set the crawler so you will come over here okay yeah i will i will tell you about the api key later so in this documentation i will i will keep this documentation in description so you will come over here you will come over a scroller okay and in crawler there is there is a curl option python node go rust and curl so this curl we will be needing we will just copy this okay we will come over here in this our mcp trigger like uh, this one and then we will click on this import curl and just done Take, yeah so all the fields are now set automatically we don't need to do anything okay and then yeah so how to set your api key what you will need to do you will just need to of this send headers and you will come over here in authorization you will click on generic credential type okay generic credential type you will click on uh we have header auth option okay so i have already done this but i am going to create new credential so that i can guide you in this you will just give authorization authorization and then how to get this key okay so you will come over here on i will also give this link in description when you will sign on firecrawl you on dashboard you will you will be uh, getting your api key it will be free for 500 requests means free credits so we'll just you will just copy over here and you will save it and you can also edit the name firecrawl api whatever you want okay i have already done this i am not going to do this okay so i'm just going to close it like you can see my headers are already my authorization are already set okay this one okay and then once this is done you can this is now crawler this is sending post request so we will also set one another crawler and um, this will be like uh, it will be using same curl i'm going to import it and uh, yeah it will be using I am going to off this. It will be using same generic credentials that we have set. Okay, uh, head roth and fire crawl already. You will be seeing automatically. And we are going to define this by model. Model should define this, and this is going to be the now get request. So this URL will be defined by the model, and this is get request. And uh, get means it will be getting the information. The first one is post. It will be sending the request and this will be the getting the information now the last one we are going to set for scraping now what is the difference between crawling and scraping crawling is for basically specific information to crawl and scraping is a general like information scraping the web pages and crawling is like based on some specific schema you are going to get some data almost both are inter uh, correlated almost so now in this for scraper you will come over here and uh, here you can see scraper so in scraper there is same again we have a python node go rust and curl we can just click on curl and copy this and go back over here and just click on here go paste import so we are done now this is going to be the end point for scraping so authorization we are going to again using same authorization header auth and I'll, it will be automatically displayed here our authorize our authorization okay so you can off this one because we have already said this and yeah this will be the body and uh, in this http request let me see yeah this is already done so now this is our mcp server this will be basically 
help uh, this will be basically scraping and extracting information based on the user request so now we are going to use it and test it so make sure copy this your endpoint and uh, and this URL production URL and uh, you can there will be a by default path with some numbers but you can also give yours so you will just copy this and make sure to activate this okay and uh, make sure to save it as well you will come back here you will open this and you will paste it paste it over here okay <coughs> and then now we can test it is it going to work so this mcp client will be uh, is being used to communicate with our mcp server okay so there are two basically things in mcp client and server server is connected with our tools that will be getting the information from tools based on our request and client is basically a starting point to communicate with server based on our request okay this will be the input and server will basically preparing the output based on our request it will trigger the tool based on the our request like crm sheet whatever you can also here you can also more tools you can add your google calendar you can add your crm hubspot you can add a lot of tools as well and then you can use your client this one oh. okay now let's have a test this and uh, let me hey how can you help So now it is going to run so it can fetch the data and track with web servers api retrieve the information and everything let's ask it hey can you tell me about again let's have a data link dot com okay now it is going to run it is sending request to mcp client now mcp client will send request to the mcp server and then here we are going to see this this is running in execution you can see the run and then anthropic model is preparing the output final output so you see there was one run to communicate with mcp server so now core functionality ai by business automation and everything they custom workflow automations my uh, my all the details it has a script from my website let me show you yeah these are all the details so this is how mcp server and mcp client is going to work this is an amazing tool and you can use it for a lot of applications you can connect with mcp trigger you can connect a lot of your tools like your your drive your email your your email your calendar your sheet your uh, databases and then you can then connect this AI agent with your WhatsApp and you can directly communicate with your tools and everything. So thank you. This was if you have any question, please ask in comment. Bye bye.